that's sweet. But I didn't think that the whole time. Let's talk about this. Hello, just got done working on this beautiful cherry TV and audio cabinet and I didn't film it because I thought it was a simple project that would not be very interesting and different and I was wrong. So, I was working on this project. Like I said, I was going to film the doors and it just got so involved uh, that I didn't film the doors. But what I thought I would do is show you why it was so involved and what kind of drove me crazy. Okay, if you're not a woodworker, uh, skip forward like 30 seconds. You're not supposed to hear this kind of stuff. Okay, so have you ever had a project that went on and on and on and you never thought you were going to get done? This is it. It just seemed to never make any progress. So by the time I got to doing the doors, I was so just frustrated. So I didn't so feel let me tell you what made this so complicated or not complicated, what made it challenging and took so much time. I'll show you the details. Okay, for one, everything is flush on this cabinet. The sides meet the top, the uh, verticals meet the front in the same plane, the doors are inset in the same plane, everything is in the same plane. So why is it so complicated? Well, I had to put these two vertical pieces in, make sure they were square, to measure for this fixed shelf right here. Then I had to take it all apart so I could do the joinery for the shelf, then put it all together, make sure it was all square that the whole thing went together again. And these are held in with, everything's dominoes on this, okay? But whether it's dominoes or loose tenons or whatever, you're gonna have to put it together and take it apart a number of times uh, because you want everything to be flush and in the same plane and square. Why do you want them square? Well, I put a 16th inch reveal on these doors so if they're not square, you're going to spend a ton of time making them fit. The door doesn't have to be square to have an even reveal, but it's a lot easier when the opening is square and the door is square. It goes better a lot faster. Okay, these doors I'm very happy with. Essentially what they are is a lapped piece of wood here on both ends. And then the door has... Uh, dados cut in them and these things set in here and these these pieces were all cut out of a single piece so I took a single piece of wood and cut the uh, cut the rabbit for it to fit depth wise then I ripped these down and I used a drum sander to get the thickness this way until they just fit in and they are slightly narrower than the door so there's a there's a little uh, shadow line right there and how I did this was I took the opening which is uh, 14 and a quarter that's 28 and a half for the center but 14 and a quarter um, took off uh, an eighth of an inch for the reveal so a sixteenth and then I wanted to space out an odd number of styles in here. So what I did was I did the math on how wide I wanted them to be. These are 5 eighths. I made the spaces 5 eighths. And then what I did was divided the rest of it in half to get 2 and 3 eighths for the sides. I think the scaling is perfect. And what I did was I used a piece of scrap uh, to set my, I have an ink fence on my table saw. Uh, to get this length exactly what it needed to be and then uh, where I marked uh, where the lines were I marked where the my stop needed to be to make these cuts so I would cut one side I'd flip it over and cut the other side then I move the stop and I would cut the next one and flip it over and cut the next one and it was really easy once I zeroed it out uh, it's very accurate very happy with it this went together so well uh, the the doors are nice and square and I really love the look. I love how the grain flows through all of them. The pulls I thought about for quite a while and I didn't want anything round because it distracted from this very sort of linear, vertically linear piece. Uh, so what I did was I mimicked uh, the styles that are in the door and I took some, some ebony that I had and ripped it down and then band, uh, I ripped it down and then 
Use my drum sander to get it to a sixteenth of an inch with some cherry, put some wider cherry on the outside, and then I just use a router uh, to route these grooves. I did one piece, it was about, I don't know, 10 or 12 inches long, and then I cut these out, and they're simply put in place with uh, some screws from behind. Overall, I'm very happy with this project. It came out very nice. All my work with making things flush and fitting them over and over again paid off. All my work at making sure things were square paid off. The finish is a T-coil. It goes on very easily, very easy to apply, very easy to use, and I just have a final coat of wax on the top, so it's got a nice tactile feel. So here's my advice if you're working on a project that starts to frustrate you. Don't let it bother you. This project was challenging where I didn't think it would be challenging. So you just need to separate yourself from it. Don't rush it or you'll make mistakes. Take your time. Do what you know needs to be done. Don't let it frustrate you. Keep an eye on the goal of what you're creating. And in the end, you'll be happy.